This man is wanted for crimes against music and broadcast television attempts. But on a good note, it's another Humbrew Wednesday. Oh, there we go. Is that better? Well, no, too close. Don't want to see too much of my dear mug. Or is? Yeah, it's Tom's casting again. <coughs> it's Humbrew Wednesday, whatever it is, 60, I don't know. Oh, I've got a nice aromatic smell rising from a box below. Not the dirt box. Yeah. My mouth. Some goodies I got. Saft Brew and WBO6. And that's the dog in the background. Not the one talking. Got a bit of hassle. One bitch in heat. Three horny male dogs the other side of the gate. Very stressful last few days. Anyway, and uh, white yeast as well, too. Well, it's going to be summer soon if we have one in the UK, if they don't make it taxable or something like that. Either way, I shall be brewing, irrespective of the weather. I have 25 kgs of wheat malt, plus the other bits and pieces. So, a couple of Weiss beers will be on the cards. I've still yet to brew my you to me challenge kit beers <clears throat> just haven't had the time or we clear the kitchen out get the cameras in and the other problem is I've only got one working light in the kitchen the other one's blown the other two recessed ones in the ceiling put a new bulb in them and they don't work so I think the holders are knackered but I've decided to uh, eventually change the ceiling all over because I'm sick of recessed lights they're a pain in the ass, and I always recommend people don't put them in so I've never had uh, a good experience with anyone's that I've installed. Nothing but grief. Anyway, yeah, so lighting's not great in there at the minute. Um, and we are pending builders coming in <coughs> in the next couple of months to widen doorways and put a ramp in and change the front door and take the bathroom and gut that. So I don't know how, uh, how chaotic things are going to get. And I've got to go ahead to extend the conservatory as well, which means the brew shed has got to become the white goods shed because the washing machine and bits and pieces like that are going to have to go out there. So the shed, brew shed build has got to come top of the list really so that the rest of the chain can proceed, although there are many other jobs that need doing. But I haven't really got much else for you. Go, go nibs if you want them. But yeah, my smash beers have, I have been informed, arrived safely at headquarters in Zippies. And uh, I'm going to wait for everyone to assemble and then get redistributed back out. I'm going to have a crack on Tony's <sighs> barley wine. Still getting a smell of hops there. Wasn't overly carved in the bottle, which is forming a little bit of a head. A little bit of an aggressive pour. Doing it in a Duvel tulip glass. Obviously, the advantage of Tony's beers is he carves them from his kegs, so there's no sediment to come in these. I'm getting a nice aroma off with the hops. Just tell you what the ABV is. It's about nine, yep, yeah, nine percent. 120 IBUs. Could be interesting. Don't think you can taste anything past 70 or 80 IBUs. It is well carbonated. You can see them floating all over. And the camera will pick much up. Yeah, you just see a little stream coming off the bottom. Great aroma of the hops. <sighs> Definitely alcohol. <clears throat> it certainly doesn't taste 120 IBUs or it's really rich. Is the the bitterness comes in afterwards. First mouthful was the alcohol. <clears throat> Very smooth. It's 
reasonable mouthfeel. I bet if these aged and the hop flavours die down, this would become more port sherry style taste. <coughs> it's got that kind of body to it. I don't know whether he's kegged this or um, he's put a few bottles aside to age, but I think this could become much more interesting. You get the fruity bitterness from the hop. <coughs> I don't know what hops they are, but I presume they're American citra, citrusy hops. Like that. Colour of the beer coming through at the froth. Head disperses fairly quick but higher ABV you go, harder it is to maintain a head. Actually very crisp, smooth, clean and clear. It's a reasonable mouthfeel. Almost sticky. This is what they call cloying. But not in a bad way. It's almost like a fruit resin. You definitely know it's a bear with a punch. <coughs> mm. ah, I feel some cheese coming on. <laughs> cheese and pickles. Nice strong bear. Although having said that, my smash beer is only 1% lower than this. <laughs> There's not many of them left. I've sent the dozen up to, or down to Zippy. I've got another dozen boxed up. <clears throat> and a few strays. But they're getting less and less. Yeah, so that's it guys. I will try and, try and nail <clears throat> a brew video down of, uh, I think the kit brew will be first, possibly two kits if I get time to do them in one day and do two videos because I do want to crack out my old pressure barrels, test one of them to make sure it's working before I go and transfer it in so that I can have a, a pressure barrel down here <coughs> rather than go to the hassle of bottling up and I won't be brewing 40 pints will be short brewed. I may do the keg one for you because obviously it's not going to be an issue because I've got a little CO2 so I can keep it charged up, keep the carpet of CO2 or blanket of CO2 on the beer to keep it fresh but it will be more convenient for serving because literally I can just mm, straight across pour myself a pint like I've got my optics over there I think with the old vodka I love this after the cast the other night there's um, Two empty bottles now. We do have some nice three litre Smirnoff ones coming at work. <coughs> Dan ask how much they are. I can feel that burn coming up. Mm. Ah. It's almost spirit like in alcohol kick. Well, not kick, but <coughs> the flavour, the kick of the flavour. Yeah, so while I'm Enjoying the tasty beverage, courtesy of uh, Tony H, Northern Rock Brewery. Check his channel out. I'm sure you already subscribed me. Talking of subscribers, subscribing to him, subscribe to me, to me, to you, to me, to him, and all that malarkey. <coughs> I have just surpassed the 300 mark. I think last look it was 310, 311. So cheers. To everyone who subscribes, you poor buggers. Cheers for the comments, all those guys that have supported me all the way through from just over a year now. Kevin Clements, New Fan Brewing, obviously Brewmaster Ben, and the rest of you guys. I can't, I've got a book here full of subscribers. I always write them down when I get a Gmail notification, because uh, your YouTube doesn't tell you everyone. And obviously some of them have probably unsubscribed or closed accounts, whatever. <clears throat> but yeah, to all of you that are active watchers, viewers, participators, commenters, cheers 
for the beers. Cheers for the comments, cheers for the likes, cheers for the subscription. Ah, right, now I'll attempt to go, or probably put the outtakes in in the last attempt to go. Now I remember where the button is. Waffle, and waffle and waffle. Yes, we'll try and get some brews down. Try and get them on video. Because I have been asked more than once. <clears throat> but yeah, there are things go on around here that um, make it awkward. That I can't go into detail on here. Anyway, I'm looking for my remote so I can press pause and say goodbye. Goodbye, press pause. Now let's play. Now let's record. Which one's <laughs> I'm out. No, it's still not the right one. Wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Come on, I'm getting bored now. <laughs>